back guys I've been doing a lot of kind of a bit more intense makeup looks recently so I wanted to bring it back down to basics just a little bit so this is the look that I'm doing it is a more natural everyday wearable look that has a little bit of glam you're still gonna look and feel beautiful but you're not gonna feel like you are like totally done I'm gonna talk through all the steps with you guys and kind of just chit chat and we'll get ready together so let's get started I'm starting off with an eye primer. This one is from Lorac. My first time using this. This is their behind the scenes eye primer. Even though I am doing a natural eye look today, because this is the type of makeup I want to wear, kind of do it in the morning and then wear it all day long. P.S. This eye primer is very silky going on. It feels really nice. Um, because I am doing this makeup in the morning and wearing it all day long, I want it to last. So eye primer is key for that. That felt really nice. We'll see how well this works throughout the day. So for this eye look, I'm keeping it really natural. The main thing is I want to use matte eyeshadows. First color that I'm using is this one from MAC. This is soft brown. I use this color a lot because it's just such a great crease color. It looks really natural. It's very similar to my skin tone so what you want when you're picking up the color is you want something that's just a bit darker than your skin tone so it can show up that's a little guide it's so funny i totally stopped using mac shadows for a long time i guess just because so many other things come out and you know you want to try new products but i have to say i always go back to them because they are for me some of the best eyeshadows ever to use they just work so well next i'm going in with another neutral brown this is cork i'm putting this color now just right in the socket so not blending out as much but i'm keeping it really light-handed because i don't want this to go on too heavy just the whole idea of this is that this is a very natural look you can wear all the time any day this is the type of look if you practice doing it you can do it in like 10 minutes flat because you just get so used to it okay same color same brush i'm going in just running that a little bit along my lower lash line i'm kind of rubbing the brush into my lashes so i think i'm going to go in with this color vanilla from mac and I'm packing that on and I'm gonna blend it up towards the brown so they kind of just blend into each other. This is also matte, so it's keeping that matte vibe on the eyes. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make the skin really glowy, which is just one of my favorite type of looks to do. And I'm also using vanilla as my brow highlight color. which looks really pretty because it's matte. I don't necessarily like using eyeliner every day. Plus I feel like it takes long and you gotta really think about it and concentrate. So instead I'm gonna try to use eyeshadow and kind of a stippling brush. Let's see if this works. You could also wet your brush if you want with a little bit of Fix Plus. Let's actually try to do that. That'll make the shadow stick a bit more. So I'm just dipping it into the black, any black eyeshadow, I'm using carbon. And then I'm pushing the brush into my lash line. This is just such an easy way to make your lashes look thicker because I am gonna throw on falsies. I personally love wearing false lashes with natural makeup because I think it just, I don't know it's so flattering you could throw on falsies and your makeup totally looks done even though you didn't do much so I'm a big fan of false lashes in case you guys didn't notice <laughs> that's it for the liner super simple that literally took me what three seconds that's all you really need to do I don't know if you guys could hear this or not but I have new neighbors that moved in downstairs and they're so loud they're so loud like there's 
it, there's two of them and I just hear them talking all the time and it kind of kind of drives me crazy a little bit I'm not gonna lie but I have to say my previous neighbor was let's just say it's an improvement because my old neighbor was crazy like legit I'm not even kidding crazy crazy so I guess I shouldn't really be complaining because it's between crazy old neighbor or loud neighbors. I don't even know because she was the old the old neighbor was loud too. I don't even know which which is better at this point to be honest. Time for lashes. So I'm throwing on these ones from Salon <laughs> Salon Perfect. Speaking of lashes, I just posted a full tutorial on how to apply false lashes and I try to include as much information as I possibly could so I'm gonna link that video for you guys right here even my girlfriend who's a makeup artist said she picked up a couple tips I thought that was the biggest compliment ever <laughs> let me throw these lashes on first my two best friends are both makeup artists and hairstylists they're amazing and they inspire me all the time so when they watch my videos and they like them i'm just like yay i know that i know that i did something right they're two of the most talented people i know ever that do makeup and i'm not just saying that because they're my friends i swear i mean it they both live in toronto maybe one day when they come visit me in la they haven't been here yet believe it or not it's been almost two years we have a long distance relationship we talk every single day at least five five times a day at least <laughs> i have a group chat with my two girlfriends do any of you guys do that at all like have a group chat like that <laughs> and i swear like alex sometimes we leave each other voice notes and sometimes alex is like who are you talking to why do you guys tell each other every single detail <gasps> and i was like i don't know we can't help it <laughs> A lot of you guys were saying in the comments for the false lash video that when you guys try to do it, it never works out or the lashes don't stick. Practice, practice, practice. I promise. It took me a long time to like be able to master putting lashes on, but the more you do it, the more you practice, I promise you it will definitely get easier for sure, for sure. So just keep trying guys i'm using the makeup forever hd ultra ultra hd foundation definitely one of my favorites but i actually really like the l'oreal true match lumi i sometimes mix the both together and it turns out really nice oh i completely forgot to show you guys i used um this primer from lise wattier as my base before i put foundation on it's a really good pore minimizer. I realized that I feel like in the last few years, I swear, I feel like my pores look bigger than ever. How come nobody tells you that you never really stop getting acne? <laughs> Why am I still getting acne at my age? I totally still get pimples, which is so frustrating. Concealer, I'm using the MAC NC20 Select Moisture Cover, which I really love this concealer, but there's that Maybelline one that everybody on YouTube uses that I'm just like dying to try. I need to get my hands on it. I, I literally have seen everyone use this concealer from Maybelline. Do you guys know which one I'm talking about? It's got like the ball and um, I need to try it. I absolutely have to try it. So I'm also using this as my highlighter. I'm doing this really fast as you can tell. Well, as I'm talking. <laughs> All of this is just gonna make your face just look so bright and awake and alert, which is what I need most of the time. <laughs> because lately I've just been feeling, I've been waking up really early to go to the gym and it definitely takes away from my beauty sleep. Let's put it that way. <laughs> Speaking of other YouTube videos, I wanted to let you guys know that one of the things that I really want to be doing this year is collabing with more beauty girls because I love watching their videos and I always pick up little tips and information. Okay, I'm going in with powder. 
and there's so many great girls out there and I would love to do collabs with them. So if there's anyone that you would love for me to do a collab with, please leave it for me, for me in the comments. I will reach it out, reach out to them, see if they're interested. First of all, they might not even want to do a collab, but I will try. Next, I'm going in with some bronzer. And I'm really putting this all over because I feel like I pretty much lost all my color. I'm, looking, I'm feeling really pale. So I kind of just want to bronze it all up. And I totally feel like bronzer is like an instant pick me up for your face. Like once you put bronzer on, you look like a whole new person. <laughs> I don't know. That might be a slight exaggeration, but I'm sure some of you might agree though. <laughs> Before I do anything else, I need to do my brows because I feel like that is just going to put everything else in place. I'm using MAC lingering pencil and this product that I just got yeah, from Maybelline that I'm gonna try. Let's see how this works. I actually used, to be, used it the other day and I was like eh. It felt a little bit weird. It's really thick. It kind of feels jelly, creamy, kind of hard to explain but I feel like it also holds your brows in place. So I'm gonna just apply that as a base, brush through it. It looks really natural, which is nice. Apply a little bit more. Plus I feel it makes my eyebrows look thicker. Of course, if you're totally in a hurry, you could just do a brow gel rather than doing all of these steps. That's also another really great option. That is a thick brow. Wow. This thing just took on a life of its own. <laughs> okay, I think it's fair to say that this is like eyebrow fail. Eyebrow fail, guys. Not happy with what's happening with my brows. But I'm just gonna let them be because I could literally sit here for hours trying to fix this. So I'm just moving on. Okay, intermission. <laughs> Guys, I was really unhappy with how those lashes were looking. I don't know why, it just did not look right. So I'm throwing these ones on instead. Let's see if these are better. So much better. I could not, like it was totally those other lashes. I don't know if it's the liner that was throwing me off or what it was, but something was not working. So these ones are like a million times better. It just goes with the look so much more. I do say in my lashes video, there's so many different styles of lashes. Don't be afraid to play around. And if one doesn't look perfect and amazing, you could always try another one. I'm so glad I switched it because like that made the biggest difference and now I love this look so much more Okay, a little trick I like to do the brush that I used with the black eyeshadow for the liner So I'm just using this to kind of go in between my lashes To make sure it's super black no skin is showing and then what I like to do after that is to kind of close my eyes and squish them together <laughs> as weird as that looks so a little bit of that black comes down into your waterline but it's not a lot it's just super natural but it kind of gives your eyes a little something more for blush what do we want to do here I'm using this one first from L'Oreal barely blushing kind of to give a little bit of a bronzer vibe bronzer blush vibe first I rarely ever use one blush. I think I always mix two blushes. Always, always. I don't know why. It's just something I've always done as a makeup artist. That's really pretty. Okay, and then I'm gonna go in with the Wet n Wild 831 Pearlescent Pink. I'm just going more on the apples. Just on the apples to give a little bit of like cuteness i don't know what <laughs> word oh my god everything's going everywhere 
I'm losing my mind. This is really pretty though. This is exactly the vibe I wanted. Buxom, Au Naturel. I wore this recently. I wore this in my um, my resolutions video. You guys kept on asking, what's on your lips? What's on your lips? And this is what it was, which is a beautiful color. Obsessed, perfect everyday color. It's really matte though, just to warn you. It's so pretty. I love this. Okay, I need to make my lips. I need to perfect it though. Would you guys consider Buxom a drugstore product? I'm pretty sure I got it from Ulta, but I was like, is that considered drugstore? Is Ulta considered drugstore? I don't even know. I need to fix that. This is just concealer. You can definitely just do this with a Q-tip, but I just like how perfect that makes your lips. I love this lip color. It is beautiful. Okay, almost at the end of this. I'm using this highlighter from MAC, this bronzy tone. Look how pretty that is. One of my favorite people on Instagram is Am Reezy. Do you guys know who she is? And her makeup is amazing. But the reason I actually really like her because she's hilarious on Snapchat and I know some people can't stand her, but I actually think she's really funny. But the point of the story is that she is all about the highlighter and she says, just when you think that you've put enough, go back and add a lot more. <laughs> so that I totally take that tip and I use it now. There you go guys, that is the final look for this natural, everyday wearable, slightly glam makeup. If you are new to my channel, welcome. Make sure you hit that subscribe button below. It's that big pink button right underneath me. And if you like this video, leave me a thumbs up and a comment. Thank you guys. I will see you again in my next video very soon. Bye.